Chapter 4. Communicating for Success Number 1. People who create conflict wherever they go typically do so because they are feeling A. Fatigue B. Restless C. Insecure D. Trustful And the correct answer is C. Insecure Number two, in handling a client who is dissatisfied with the service, the ultimate goal is to A. Convince the client that you are right and she is wrong. B. Make the client happy enough to pay for the service and return in the future. C. Get the client out of the salon as quickly as possible. D. Fully satisfy the client regardless of the cost. And the correct answer is B. Make the client happy enough to pay for the service and return in the future. Number three. All of the following are golden rules of human relation except A. Being right is the same as acting righteous. B. A smile is worth a million times more than a sneer. C. Always remember that listening is the best relationship builder. D. Laughed often. And the correct answer is A. Being right is the same as acting righteous. Number 4. Step 6 of the 10 step consultation method is a. Review the intake form. B. Determine the client's preferences. C. Show and tell. D. Discuss upkeep and maintenance. And the correct answer is determine the client's preferences. Number five. All of the following are primary criteria to consider when suggesting her style. Option to a client except A. Lifestyle B. Face shape C. Hair type D. Hair color And the correct answer is D. Hair color Number six, the ability to understand people is blank to success of a cosmetologist. A. K. B. Irrelevant. C. Incidental. D. Unimportant. And the correct answer is A. Key. Number seven, to earn clients blank and loyalty, you should set aside a few minutes to take clients on a quick tour of the salon, smile and be yourself. A, money. B, affection. C, trust. D, respect. And the correct answer is C, trust. Number eight, if a client requests a specific cut or color that she has seen on a celebrity, you should blank explain whether the look is right for the client. A, democratically. B, diplomatically. C, directly. D, distinctly. And the correct answer is B. Diplomatically. Number nine. If you have clients who are habitually blank, it is recommended that you ask them to arrive earlier than their actual appointment time. A. 
late b loud c punctual d unfriendly and the correct answer is a late number 10 when you meet an older client for the first time it is recommended that you address her with a blank such as mrs smith a honorable mention b honor c honorarium d honorific And the correct answer is D, honorific. Number 11. It is best to avoid using blank terms when conversing with clients. A, casual. B, respectful. C, slang. D, professional. And the correct answer is C, slang. Number 12. As a cosmetologist, do not attempt to fulfill the rule of blank, career guide, parental sounding board, and motivational coach for your clients. A. Hair color expert. B. Counselor. C. Professional acquaintance. D. Polite listener. And the correct answer is B, counselor. Number 13. If during a discussion, a client is revealing increasingly personal details, it is recommended that you change the subject or blank to help her take her mind off of her troubles. A suggest a mini relaxation service b reveal a personal detail of your own c walk away from clients d turn on a loud machine and the correct answer is a suggest a mini relaxation service number 14 you should be open and honest in all of your communications with coworkers, but you must also be blank to circumstances in which being direct would be hurtful. A. Oblivious. B. Sensitive. C. Frightened. D. Averse. And the correct answer is B. Sensitive. Number 15, when you need to speak with your manager about an issue or problem, it is recommended that you blank beforehand. A, cover up your mistakes. B, think of possible excuses. C, think of possible solutions. D, think of who you can blame. And the correct answer is C. Think of possible solutions. Number 16. The act of successfully sharing information between two people so that the information is understood is called A. Direct communication B. Effective communication C. Strong communication. D. Overt communication. And the correct answer is B. Effective communication. Number 17. The document, also known as a client questionnaire or consultation card, is D. A intake form b welcome form c greetings form d entrance form 
And the correct answer is A, antique farm. Number 18. The verbal communication, also known as the needs assessment, is D. A. Client conversation. B. Client communion. C. Client consultation. D. Client conference. And the correct answer is C. Client consultation. Number 19. Instead of the term client, patrons of the day spa, spas are commonly called A. Guest B. Tenants C. Visitors D. Day trippers And the correct answer is A. Guest Number 20 the term commonly used for patrons of medical spas is A. Guest B. Tenants C. Visitors D. Clients And the correct answer is D. Clients Thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Bye.